Good morning SMS. This tutorial is about how to add a, a, a class in Think Central. We'll start from the beginning. So first of all, log in to your account, adding the username and password. Okay. When we log in, we'll have here this bottom which is setting bottom from the setting bottom we'll press setting manage classes so setting manage classes when we press it we will have a different dashboard from this dashboard we'll go to classes and in classes we will go and press class so here we go, we press class, we will write the class name, for example, grade 1B, let's say, we select the grade, it's a grade 1, how many periods a day, uh, I, I, how many periods a week, sorry, so let's say they have 4 periods, from language we select English and the program that we want the kid to have let's say go math 12 or journeys so let's say go math 12 okay for example in CA go math we have only these products the school bought go math 12 okay as you can notice more products are there so we tick these products last time I got a complaint from a teacher she said that okay I have only two things that are displayed for my students that's only because when you selected your when you created your class you didn't select all of them you selected two like only animated math models so we have to select them all then save after saving here class already exists so I will call it CD okay because maybe some teacher created this class save so now I have a new a new class I will assign students so I'll assign only an example two students three students if it is if it is a B that means we start from here down till we finish grade A but I'm giving you a, an example now so we add students students grade 1 and done when I press done this message will come click on OK to save your changes now I can save it and my class is created so I created a grade 1 I have created all these class before so now in this session I created grade 1 B C D so I tick on it I want now to view the users name usernames and passwords of my students that I created so I click on this button view class roster when I click I will have all the names that I added to my class with their usernames and passwords so this to be given to students I can have I can export this list in order to be printed to a to an Excel sheet. So here, here we go. I exported it. So if I want to open it, I'll see all the names with the password username. So I can print this page and put it in my class, or just cut the username and password of each student and give it to him so he can use his own resources at home
So here we go, username, password for student in one sheet. You can print it and take it. After creating the class, now we want to assign something. Okay, I have a class and you and students can access this their accounts using their usernames and password. But now as a teacher, I want to assign a homework for them or a, an assessment or a test. So I go to assessment from the dashboard of test, for example. I'll have this screen in which they are telling me what test are going to assign. So I'll say model, let's say A. Okay, online assessment, beginning of year test, assign. This is again an example. You can assign the test that's related to the unit that you're teaching. So the name of the assignment, I will write the name, model A. Select a class, only grade one. Select a group. If I want to select only group of students, so this is for differentiation. But I will select all my students, add. Here the availability of the test. Available date, I'll leave it to you, uh, available from 30 to 6th of November. Anytime can, they can do at home, or I can assign the time. Let's say I want them to do the test on the 1st of November at 11 o'clock till 12. I give them time limit to do it. So the test will not appear except in this hour. But I will keep it like anytime. Password, if you want to add a password for the username, so none other than your students that they know the password can use. Allow student to pose? No. Except if you are using it, I mean, if you are giving the assessment in class, you need to pose to let them pose and go to toilet or let them pose. And if they ask to go to toilet, I mean, or let them pose or to, to ask a question if they don't know. But if they are accustomed of this test, no need to pose. Allow student to see their answers? Yes. Here, I can select certain questions. You may say that, okay, some questions are very difficult for my student. So I'll select only the questions that I feel, let's say, question two is challenging, so I'll not select for all students. Then save. Okay. Now the assignment or the, the, the test here is assigned. Show answers, no. Now I can edit, delete, or copy if I want to copy. If I have two classes like 7A, B, and they are studying the same material, so I can copy the test and add to that class. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that it will be useful for you in the future. Thank you.